we'll start with the uh, the big picture first. Just tell me a little bit about what you heard today, what's your takeaway from, from the table. Here in Nevada, like in a lot of places in our country, there are families that are undocumented, but they are hardworking families. They're people who have raised their children. Uh, they're moving this economy here in Nevada. Uh, and what they want is they want the opportunity to have peace of mind that, that they can remain here in the United States. Uh, they want for us to reform our immigration system, uh, ultimately an earned path to citizenship. Uh, if I'm elected president, uh, I will put forward legislation to reform our immigration system and to make sure that there is a pathway to earn citizenship for the 10 to 11 million undocumented immigrants in this country uh, who are contributing to the forward progress of the United States. Uh, the president wants us to believe that we have to choose between border security and compassion. We don't have to choose. Our border is as secure as it ever has been. We can make sure that it continues to be secure. However, we can also be compassionate to the families who are here and who just want to be able to provide for their family and uh, to work and contribute to this country. You mentioned as part of that alleviating fear, uh, we have programs like the 287G program. So that's happening here in, in Southern Nevada. That's a big component of, uh, of what happens here in Clark County. As president, would that be a program you would want to see taken away as part of the uh, legislation that you would push for? Well, look, uh, you know, I believe that the federal government should do its job and local government and state government should be, do their own job. Uh, I used to be mayor of San Antonio. Uh, I know that uh, local police departments have a role to play in responding to crime and keeping down crime, and I want local police departments to be able to prioritize what they need to prioritize to keep their communities safe. Uh, and the federal government needs to do its job. I think where uh, you mentioned a compassionate approach to trying to balance that, where is that balance uh, when you talk about border security versus securing some of the uh, uh, comfort for the folks who are here that have that uncertainty? About three weeks ago, we had the largest fentanyl bust that we've ever had in our country, 254 pounds of fentanyl. And that was coming uh, through a port of entry where trucks and cars try and come through at the border. There's not a single thing that a wall would have done to stop that. We can be smarter about uh, border security, but also address the fact that we have so many families that are here uh, that have been living in the United States for many years. They're as, Amer as American as anybody else. Um, we can make sure that there's an earned path to citizenship. So that's where I see the direction that we need to go in as a country. And um, it's unfortunate that this president has used the issue of immigration to fear monger and is a political ploy to try and get reelected. Uh, it's not going to work. Places like Nevada recognize uh, the value that immigrants have added to this state and to this country. And they know that we can both have a secure border and also humanely treat the people who are here.